Okay, in today's video I'm going to show you guys uh, the process of opening one of these and um, this one I have bought as broken. Someone has apparently tried to rip it open, right? Hence the multitude of cracks on it. Uh, I have no idea how, how bad this is, so let's, uh, let's first power it up. And I also do not know how to, how to open it, so that's also going to be a process. So we're expecting uh, 28 volts on the output. Okay, absolutely nothing. All right. So yeah, given that, let's uh, try and open it up. Yeah, so there's two hooks, one that's holding like this, holding in like this, and we have to push it this way, and another one on this side. Problem is I don't have anything that's thin and strong enough uh, to actually bend those back. I, the only thing I have that roughly fits are these screwdrivers. This is very, very flexible, so it will not work. So what I will do now is enlarge these two holes, so the second to last holes on the wire side and uh, see how that goes. Alright, so basically this is the hook that we're going for. Alright, so you basically have to find a way to prise that inwards and then you basically go and then you can drill stuff in here, there doesn't seem to be much going on. Yes, all right. So I got one of them free, and now let's see, maybe, maybe, yes, holy shit. All right, so what we have learned, the inner plates have the hooks I was talking about. And so long as you get one out, you can get the other ones. Unfortunately, you do have to create some kind of access hole to get any decent amount of uh, prying power. Uh, these are incredibly stiff and also, right, this, as I've been saying, probably has stayed at a very high temperature for a very long time, so it's quite brittle. There's these two standoffs that apparently broke off. All right, so I'll start this side. So the third hole, so let's see if we can manage not to bite into it too much. I'll try to hold it in with my fingers. I'm wondering if I should probably heat it up, but it seems to be doing a much better job this time. Much better job. Okay, and this is soft like shit, so I'm gonna go into the metal with the drill. Which is also a piece of shit, but it's at least cheaper, so... Alright. Alright, so now we have our second access hole, and I think if, if you never cracked your case, right, so someone... This was already cracked, right, so someone did try, and I think I made it worse. Someone did try going at this very aggressively. Um, if, if you're very careful drilling the holes, if you get one of these, uh, they're very good at not biting into the material. Or maybe a multi-flute uh, drill. This is just two flutes, so this usually seems to grab quite quite a lot. And then the plastic is quite brittle, so you'll easily get, get cracks. But yeah, with, with enough care, you can actually get two access holes, and you seem to only need to unlatch one of those uh, clips in order to release the plate. All right, so this time I actually broke the clip. And uh, yeah, let's see how we get on with the release. Hmm. All right, didn't even break. So this one I did break, and this one somehow stayed intact. Anyhow, I could put some silicone on the on the edges, so that shouldn't be too bad. And now you can actually just pull it and see which way. All right. 
So this is how the uh, case is. No latches, no hooks, no nothing. Actually, there is a small kind of hook in the middle. That's edging this way, right? So you can only push it in that way, but I don't know. It does work fine. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much how you open it. And now there's normal screws. This a pain in the fucking ass. Fuck. <sighs> Shielding. I mean, I don't know. Like this, I'm pretty sure they did, right? They covered all the caps and all the everything and, and little shit so that it doesn't look uh, uneven under the, the grid, right? So that everything looks black. But then on the bottom, right, there's at least three layers of plastic. I mean, yeah, I do get that you want to protect it from short circuit against uh, against the base, but this really shouldn't help with thermal flow. There's no holes in between, right? And this should heat up and create some convection, but quite little of it, if if any. So, sorry. Caps have these little. Hats, I mean, why, why would you do this? Why, why, what is this for? Some tight ass glue. So we have this. On the bottom, a very thick plastic. Then we have some shielding. Hopefully. All right, I really don't know what they're doing here, so. This does seem to be some kind of earth. Right, so it connects to this plate, then you have, it's almost like they're, they're trying to do a capacitor type of deal. Then they have this plate, which also goes, has two taps, and then the super heavy plastic, and then the metal chassis. I... I don't know, this seems very, very, very exaggerated, but what do I know?